Every man, driver nation, what's going on? Welcome back. I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks so much for joining me this week as I introduce to you the all new 2018 Acura TLX A Spec, a performance luxury sedan that I fell in love with at first sight, and that love affair has continued all week long. Now, throughout this video, I'm going to provide some additional voiceover and narration to support what you see on camera. So, what do you say? Let's get started. Meant to reflect Acura's precision-crafted performance DNA, this all-new TLX A-Spec, available on both front-wheel drive and super-handling all-wheel drive variants of the V6-powered TLX, amps up the sporty character of this vehicle and features exclusive design elements not only inside but out, along with key enhancements to chassis tuning and wheel and tire specification. There are two engine options available on the TLX for 2018, a 2.4 liter four cylinder and a 3.5 liter V6, which we have here on the A-Spec. That smaller engine gets 206 horses, 182 pound-feet of torque. Ours here, the V6, gets 290 horses, 267 pound-feet of torque, made it to a nine-speed automatic transmission and that super handling all-wheel drive. Let me take you inside. We'll talk about fuel economy and what I've achieved so far this week in mixed driving. All right, welcome inside. Push button start. I like the fact that it's a red button. Now that we're in here, let me go ahead and give you a tour before I give you the fuel economy numbers. Dual screen, and I have my phone hooked up for Apple CarPlay. You'll see that here on the top screen. Love that. Been listening to podcasts, also answering phone calls, and getting voice messages through my text. So if a text comes in, it'll actually play it in audio form. That's, I really like that. So there's down below, audio source. I've been listening to Satellite recently. So this is kind of a, a neat system and they've changed this touchscreen sensory. Uh, in the past, or at least last year, when you touched it, there was a little bit of a vibration to let you know that you were going to that channel, for example, and now it's a lot easier. Really cool graphics, new graphics on it. And this at first was a little bit confusing with these arrows, but this is just going left and right through different channels. And the upper arrow is categories. So Canadian, pop, now it's moving on to rock, and so on. And then I can just go channel by channel right there. I don't know, just something you'll explore when you get there. Uh, climate controls are also push button. I can go audio, or not auto, auto, and then it jumps into AC because it's a hot day today. Other options here, this dial is what you use to navigate your Apple CarPlay screen up top. I like that, it's kind of nice. Sometimes I'll have it down the center. So there's my phone that's hooked up to it, just showing you a cup holder place as they vente ice water. Now, I also wanted to show you and put coins down there because some people want to know, you know, is this really used for coins? It can be, but this is also a charging station for your phone. You can, certain phones, you can actually charge it just by laying it right there. There's your USB port. There are four driving modes and this is fun. So dynamic driving modes, there are four of them, Econ, Normal, Sport, and Sport Plus. And I've been driving in sport almost exclusively. Also, adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist. So, some great safety features when you're driving. I know I'm kind of, I'll get to my fuel economy in a second, but there's some really cool things about this car that I like a lot. Uh, brake hold, there's also the auto start stop feature. So, the car can uh, turn off when you come to a stoplight or a stop sign to save on fuel economy. And then there's your nine speed automatic transmission options, park, reverse. Let's go ahead and put it in re reverse. You'll see up here in the top screen. The lane lines do move as you change the steering wheel. Helps you back into places, that's what I have found. Compartment down there for additional storage. All right, let's go to your steering wheel and we have paddle shifters here for the super handling all wheel drive. Paddle shifters, A-spec, gonna like that. This right here will change what we see in uh, the very center. So I'm going there, let me zoom in a little bit for you. Now we're gonna get to my fuel economy because this is rated at 20 city, 29 highway for a mixed driving number of 23. I've been averaging 20.4 miles per gallon and I've put, I gotta, let's see, what's my, oh, there it is, 152 miles on it. 
87 degrees, and I still have 182 miles of range left. So I could get a little better. I haven't been on the highway very much. I just basically been around town and I've been getting just over 20. So with some more highway driving, I'm sure I can achieve that 23 that Acura is projecting. Over here is the Bluetooth stuff. So, and this is an audio dial. So I roll this up and I can turn the audio up in the car. That's nice. Change the source. Uh, there's a lane keeping assist, adaptive cruise control when you're driving down the road. Nice A-spec badging here on the steering wheel, which is nice and bolstered and sporty. Got a nice handle to it, leather wrapped. Pretty cool. So that's how that is lined up. And uh, lane departure warning here on the left-hand side. There's your trunk release, gas release. Memory settings for the seat because the seat does adjust. So there you go. That's what I've achieved and that's a little bit of a tour on the inside of the car. This vehicle's unique styling begins here in front with a matte black diamond pentagon grille with dark chrome surround. You may recognize this from the MDX. An aggressive lower front fascia with broad center air opening flanked by round LED fog lights and a dark appearance of the July LED headlights. A spec exclusive 19 inch alloy wheels finished in shark gray paint. Those are nice. Combined with aggressively flared side sills for a more athletic and planted stance. Exterior upgrades continue at the rear with a gloss black deck lid spoiler, smoked LED taillights, and an exclusive fascia featuring a lower diffuser accented by four inch round dual exhaust finishers. And you'll find a matte black side window surround and A-spec badging on the front fenders and rear deck lid completing the overall look. So there are three ways to open the trunk of the TLX. There is a push button just left of the steering wheel. There is a button here on the key fob. You can press and hold that. Otherwise, just below the Acura icon to the right of the backup camera, a soft pad, press it, it opens up. You're looking at 14.3 cubic feet of volume behind the back row of seats, but they can fold down. There's tabs here that you pull, and that's a 60-40 split. You can fold that down to create a lot more space, but 14.3 cubic feet of volume has enough room for a pair of golf clubs because I went golfing recently. If you check out my Instagram account, you'll see me swinging the golf club. So you can put two of them in there. What's even better is that without the golf clubs, I have put my entire road bike in there with my front tire off, so I've slid that all the way in there. So there's more than one way that you can utilize the trunk space of the TLX, even though there's only 14.3 cubic feet of volume. Inside features more aggressively bolstered front seats. You'll see that A-spec badge here on the steering wheel, red driver's meter highlights, black headliner and pillar treatment, brushed aluminum look interior trim, stainless steel driver's footrest, and front and rear door sill trim. Here's a look at your real world back seat, leg room and head room from a guy who is 5'11", and this is a little bit misleading because this seat does go forward once you turn the car on. There's two memory settings and I've got mine set, so it's gonna go forward when I start the car up, but obviously I can't do that when I'm uh, uh, actually in the back seat. So even so, I do have a little bit of room between my knees and the back of the driver's seat. Very bolstered, thick seat with some compartment here behind it as well as behind uh, the passenger seat. Headroom. There's an indent in the roof line, so that's good, allowing someone who's upwards of 6'1", maybe 6'2", to be comfortable in this five-passenger sedan. And a long bed seat, looks like, you know, soft leatherette seating, so leather and some, also some suede here. Very comfortable back here, as you might expect from a luxury vehicle. Uh, four O-blank handles all the way around here on the inside. And there's a fold down armrest here, a pair of cup holders, also a possible spot for change or a cell phone, something like that. So that is what it looks like and feels like in the back of the TLX. A spec. 
Acura's super handling all-wheel drive, the most sophisticated torque vectoring all-wheel drive system in the industry, is available now for the first time on all V6 powered variants, previously just available with the technology or advanced package only. Super handling all-wheel drive elevates this TLX driving experience to a whole new level, enhancing cornering grip, power delivery, and all-weather handling and control through dynamic distribution of engine torque to all four wheels and independent control of torque delivery to the left and right rear wheels. So recapping what's new on this 3.5 liter V6 TLX A spec, uh, exclusive exterior styling and trim, as well as interior styling and trim, round LED fog lights, those new 19 inch split five spoke alloy wheels, plush mounted front and rear parking sensors, gloss black rear deck lid spoiler, increased front seat bolstering, red LED ambient light piping in 10 different locations, red driver's meter highlights, wireless charging pad, and ventilated front seats. So the MSRP here on this 2018 Acura TLX A-Spec is a cool $45,000 and I don't care because I think it's worth every single penny. It's definitely worth a look and do yourself a favor, give it a test drive. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson with Everyman Driver. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Take care, drive safe. We'll see you next time. Adios. Hey guys, it's Dave. I just want to say thanks once again for supporting Everyman Driver and watching my videos. Can you do me a small favor? The next time you're in the market for a new or used car and want to schedule a test drive or just want to get a really great price quote from a dealership of your choice in your zip code, click on the link below and fill out a short form. It's car.show forward slash everyman driver. Now it's totally free to you and there's no obligation whatsoever to buy or lease anything. It's just a quick and easy way for you to help support my work and keep this channel going. There's also a free phone number. 844-765-0610 and you can talk to a car segment specialist for car shopping advice and direction. That call is also free to you. The link again, car.show forward slash everyman driver. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again.